Hey girl, hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chalice Crystal and thank you so much for clicking on my video. Oh my god. Yes, let me take off my my little head tie I had on. We're doing a wash day today. I am finally washing my hair. I haven't washed my hair since y'all yeah, probably like ew. I think it's February. Yeah, I haven't washed my hair since February. February, March, April, like two months. Like, not even, let me not say I haven't washed my hair. Well, I haven't really like washed it, but shampoo. But I do let my hair get, you know, wet when I go in the shower and stuff. I've just been putting wigs on. So it is, and I haven't had a retwist since February as well. So it's definitely time for a wash. You guys can see how many, like, look at my new growth. Like, my new growth is so healthy. I have healthy new growth. Like, this is like three months worth of new growth. Look at this. Look at these. Woo! So, in this video, I'm just going to show you my simple wash routine. Very simple. We're going to wash and we're going to moisturize. Um, because I do want to do a retwist, but that's going to be in the next video. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I my my locks are mature now, so I can definitely brush it. I see the girls brush their locks and to get all the lint and stuff out of it. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do before I hop in the shower and wash my hair. So we're just gonna go in and brush it. For the rest of the video, I'm just gonna do a voiceover and some music. I just want you to come and just introduce myself if this is your first time clicking on my video so yeah let's get into my simple wash day routine first things first can y'all believe i have officially 10 month lock like i am a 10 month lock babe i cannot believe it i have two more months to go till i make one year so as i am still learning how to take care of my locks I watch tons of YouTube videos all the time on maintenance, how to upkeep. And one thing that I picked up on, the girls like to brush their locks before they wash them. And I'm like, let me try this. So I did go and pick up a soft brush. This is not a hard brush. It's a very soft, gentle brush. And I'm going in just to remove any lint or anything that may be stuck on my locks. I feel like this process it was cool. I do think I will continue to add it with add it in my wash day routine because it did make it didn't make a huge difference, but it did do something, if that makes sense. And before I go in and wash my hair, I am separating my locks because some of them will stick together due to it always being in a ponytail. this per castle soap by dr brunners on my body but when it comes to my locks let me tell you baby this soap is the truth like it gets my locks super super squeaky clean especially i haven't washed my hair within like two to three months it gets my locks super super clean like squeaky squeaky clean and the lather is like amazing like look at how look at oh look at the thickness like look how rich that lather looks. If you haven't tried Dr. Bronner's on your locks, definitely try it. It's definitely worth it. And that's just the only shampoo I use. I mean, it's not a shampoo, but this is the only soap I use to wash my locks. You know, I section it off. I make sure to get really down on my scalp because that peppermint feeling on the scalp, it feels so good. It tingles a little bit, but it feels so good. I get it through the strands, I get it on my ends, I just get it all over and then the lather just makes everything so better. I promise you. I don't like to condition afterwards because my hair texture is already soft, so I usually don't condition afterwards. I use this soap about two to three times and that's it.
about my locks look up close and personal. So my locks are different. Like some of my ends are completely locked. Some of my ends have the curly ends. I like how different each of my locks are. Some of them are super thick. Some of them are medium size. Um, yeah, I'm loving how my locks are growing. I'm just going to throw it in a t-shirt while I let it dry for a little. This is a new pickup. This is the Mel Rosemary Mint Scalp Oil. And I'm gonna use this just around the perimeter of my head, on my hairline and the back of my nape. This is just to make sure my edges stay moisturized, stay growing. And I'm just gonna go in and massage that in. And I'm really just putting it around my edges, honestly. This oil right here is my go-to. This is the Melanin Pure Blend Oil. I did get this from Ulta. This oil is so lightweight and I like to use it on my scalp. I go through my locks and just put it directly on my scalp. Well, I mean, it keeps your scalp so moisturized, guys. I like to use this when I need to moisturize my scalp, when I need to just keep my hair moisturized. Like, you can use this whenever, definitely after wash days. This is just my go-to oil, okay? Um, and it'll keep your hair like feeling oily or sticky. It's not heavy, it's very lightweight. It has a nice smell to it as well, so you can use it daily. This is definitely a daily go-to oil. And the last product for my moisturized routine is coconut oil. I like to put coconut oil at the ends of my locks. So I use it on the strands of my locks. That's what I like to use. Um, I love coconut oil. I like to use coconut oil on my body, my face. Coconut oil is just an all-purpose oil. And it definitely does wonders for the ends of my locks, keeping it moisturized and keeping it looking healthy and juicy. Can we take a moment to look at how moisturized these locks are looking? It's looking shiny, it's looking juicy, it's looking moisturized, it looks healthy. It's looking like a plant. I done watered the plant, I done moisturized it. Like, I am absolutely in love of how my locks are forming, y'all. Like, I can't believe it. I'm about to hit one year, wow. We have finally came to the end of our lock wash day and moisturize routine. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. My hair feels so good. My scalp feels so good. That Dr. Barnes, I think that's the only thing you need to wash your hair because the way my scalp is feeling, it feels so like, like circulated. Like the air is just going through it. It feels so, 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 so good. Oh my God, it feels so good. My hair is nice and moisturized. I am definitely going to retwist my hair later on today. So that will be the next video you guys will be seeing is a lock retwist. Let me show you I come back to see how I retwist my locks. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was calm. It was very soothing for me. Um, I love how my locks are growing, y'all. I think, I feel like I have like a whole bunch of different things going on. Like I have like a full lock 
and then I have like the curly ends as well like my locks are different each one is different like, I kind of like that this is a whole bunch of new growth y'all oh my god look at this new growth Woo! the locks definitely grew <laughs> grew okay Thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, you already know what to do. Make sure to thumbs me up. Talk to me in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to your girl. Um, I'll see you guys in my next upload. Bye. I met her in Philly and her name was Brown.